we're back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, I'm doing a back to school supplies haul. It's back to school season if you didn't know and it's honestly time to get ready for school. Kind of sad but supplies always get me excited. I'm looking forward to a good year and hopefully we don't have to go back on lockdown. Crossing my fingers. But anyways, I'm just going to be showing all the new supplies I've got for this year. If you didn't know, like last year, a lot of students were virtual, including me for like part of the year. And I got a lot of supplies that I ended up not even needing or using. So all of that supplies I'm pretty much reusing this year. But in this back to school haul, I'm going to be showing all the new supplies I got for this year. I'm pretty pumped for this back to school haul and I hope you guys are too. I hope everyone gets inspiration by the supplies I'll be showing today. And with all that being said, let's get right onto the video. The first thing I got for this year is this pink binder. It's a pretty big binder and it's bigger than the binder I had last year. Don't really know the measurements because I accidentally took off the sticker. So really sorry about that. But just know that it's a pretty big binder and the brand is in place. It's very spacious and I tend to put a lot of things in my binder. It's pretty much required for my classes, so it's good to have a binder. The next thing I got for this year are these composition notebooks. They're in the colors purple, green, black, red, and blue. And they're wide rule. These are self-explanatory, but for many of my classes, I need a composition notebook, so they're good to have. I would usually get like cute, trendy composition notebooks, but this year is so unpredictable. I don't even know if we're going to be able to finish our composition notebooks at all. So I just went basic this year and not all out. Also, I remember that I got all these like cute, trendy composition notebooks in sixth grade, but we ended up having to cover the cover anyways, because there's this, this is my cover assignment where we had to like make our own cover for the composition book. So the design that I got on the composition notebook had to be covered up anyway for an assignment. So I've always kept that in mind and I'm just going to go the basic this year because like I said, I don't know what's going to happen this year. Moving on, the next thing I got for this year is some wide rule notebook paper. This is also self-explanatory. I don't think I have to stay on this as much, but it's always good to have some loose paper. And I know specifically for my Spanish class, I will need some loose paper. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for notebook paper. Next thing I got for these years are these colored folders. I have a blue, black, red, yellow, and purple folder. Folders are always good and I end up always needing at least one for any of my classes, so that's nice. And I just got colored folders because I never like having just a plain black folder. It's not really eye-catching to me and it doesn't really inspire me, so yeah. Next thing I got for this year are some binder tabs. They're from the brand Avery and they're right in erase pockets, which I love. I like binder tabs with pockets because usually there's always one teacher that's gonna give me some loose paper and it's not hole punch and I can't put it in my binder. And I don't wanna just stuff it in my backpack and it crumbles and yeah, that's just like one of my pet peeves. So I always like having a folder in the front to, you know, put those loose pieces of paper. And also I like to put homework in there so I know when I get home and open my binder, okay, get this done or get this signed, whatever I have to do. And these are like very cute, like, like pastel sort of colors. And they're not plain, so that's what I like. Moving on, another thing I got for this year is this dual grid graph notebook. I literally love graph paper and I didn't notice until last year that graph paper was really beneficial for me. It's good for math and I love the lines in it because it kind of keeps my handwriting like smooth and straight and I just like love all the things I can do with graph paper. So honestly, a very, very good thing I got for this year and it's hole punched so I can put it in my binder and whenever I need it, I can just tear it out because it's perforated. So yeah, love that for me. 
Another thing I got for this year is this calculator. Let me take off the cover so y'all can actually see the actual calculator. This is the calculator. I accidentally turned it on, but this is the same calculator we use at school. It's a TI Inspire CX2 calculator. I believe that's how you say it. But we have these at school, but I know a lot of students that have their own calculators like this. It is a bit on the pricier side, to be honest, but it is very beneficial for the students I see using them. They can take it to and from school and it's the same program they use in class. And they don't have to worry about using like a calculator app that may not like be beneficial for assignments or whatever. This calculator works so well and I know that this year I'm really going to benefit from it. So honestly, great buy. I am very excited to use it. Moving on, another thing I got for this year are these sticky notes. Very, very self-explanatory, but sticky notes are always used and I know I'm going to really be needing them. They come in a few colors, so that's nice. And I have a lot more sticky notes, but this is just a new pack I got. So yeah, I probably... Anyways, I'll probably be using these a lot this year. I recorded that last clip by holding the sticky notes upside down, but this is how it's supposed to be held. But anyways, let's move on. Another thing to add on to what I got for this year are these mechanical pencils. I got these off of Amazon and they're big velocity pencils. I believe that's how you say it, but I get these a lot. If you don't know me, I prefer mechanical pencils over standard pencils, so Mechanical pencils are very close to my heart and I need good ones. But these always do. I probably wouldn't get these colors, but I got these off of Amazon and all the other colors that I wanted were sold out at the time. So yeah, that really sucks. But I believe they're 0.7 mm, yeah, 0.7 mm lead and I prefer that lead over like 0.5 or anything above that. So yeah, really love these pencils and they come with extra lead and erasers, which I love. To stay on the pencil topic, I still got standard traditional pencils, whatever you want to call it. I got these pencils, Ticonderoga pencils. I believe that's how you say it. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. As you can see on the packaging, it literally says the world's best pencils. And they're not lying. These pencils are amazing. The lead is able to sustain itself for so long. And the erasers are actually smooth, unlike other cheap pencils you can get at like stores. But I also get these traditional pencils because for scan draw and, and test, it only requires number two pencils. So these come in handy for that. And I also lend these people pencils to other people if they need them so if you are from my school and you know you will need a pencil throughout the year i got your back so yeah love these pencils recommend it to everybody i also got some pens this year and these are the pens i got they are papermint ink joy gel pens geez that's kind of a tongue twister maybe it's me but i also changed my aligner today so i may be stumbling on some words but anyways disregard what i just said these are the pins i got fun fact i actually had this pink pin last year i don't really know where i got it from but i know i loved it the comfort of this pen is so good it's so easy to write with and on paper the ink never skips and i love that about these pins so very excited to use these packs of pens this year. I am literally so excited for them. And yeah, I probably won't be sharing these pens. These are probably going to be my own. So yeah. Next thing I got for this year are these highlighters. They're friction highlighters. They're a part of the pastel collection. I literally have heard all about these highlighters and how good they are. A lot of people like the colors and I'm already loving it just by the packaging. And a lot of people like that they erase. I'm not really sure if they erase as good as I want them to be. But when I highlight, I don't really like have to erase because I'm highlighting something for a reason. But if the erasable part of this highlighter actually works, I would love that. But if they don't and I have to interchange with highlighters, I'll just use my mild liners or mid liners, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, very excited for these highlighters and they're just so cute. So yeah, we're coming to the end of this video, sadly. But the last thing I got are these crayons. 
They're the Colored of the World crayons by Crayola. They recently came out with these crayons. And honestly, love the colors and what this pack of crayons like represents. But uh, anyways, I just would remember back in, you know, my elementary days that I would always want to get the perfect skin tone of like a stick figure I was drawing or a random person. And the regular pack of Crayola like crayons, all the colors didn't really come with like specific colors for skin tones but now they do have them and they come in these tones they're medium almond light rose light almond like golden just a lot of different colors in this crayon pack really excited to use these before i end this video i wanted to include the pencil case i'm using this year i'm using the awaken the beauty of life pencil case Got this off of Amazon, literally love it. It's so spacious inside and just carries all of the stationary items I need. And actually comment down below if you guys would like to see a pencil case review or like a what's in my pencil case video. Literally down to do it. But with all that being said, these are all the supplies I'm using this year. Supplies literally get me so excited for school. It's kind of funny, but it's kind of sad also that school is coming so fast. Summer went by too fast. I cannot stress that enough. But never know, maybe this school year will be good. Hopefully it's better than last year. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it benefited anyone in some way. Thank you for watching and I hope you got some inspiration. Sadly, I'll have to end this video, but before you go, I need you to do a quick favor. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if not. That just tells me what type of content you guys like. If you would like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button and the bell beside it so you will not miss any of my videos. Please comment down below because I would love to talk to you guys. But yeah, with all that being said, until next time, uh, Kenna out. Bye!